This card is super busted, man. Like, that's not okay. Not okay, man. We did hit him with the Kiskis. Hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Taking a break from alchemy, returning to standard, trying to please some of the naysayers. And I feel you guys, your concerns are validated. I understand that alchemy is A, super expensive and B, incredibly overpowered. But with that out of the way, I guarantee that this deck makes up for it. We have a Grixis Blood Dragon deck. What? We're going to be focused on blood tokens, utilizing those artifacts as mana via Galazeth, and then playing some massive spells. We'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and synergies, showcasing all of this within the gameplay footage, finally wrapping up with our final thoughts. Be a deer, like the video to show your support, and maybe even subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great content just like this. Let's take a look at the deck. Alrighty then, the Blood Dragon is a standard 60 card best of one build with an average mana value of 3.4, 26 non-creatures, 10 creatures, 24 lands. This is a healthy mid-range deck. It was built to counter the Cleric deck that I just, I can't stand. It's everywhere, even within Standard, right? It's, uh, you know, life gain is out and about. This inspires Shadow's Verdict. So, okay, well, if I'm going to play with Shadow's Verdict, I'll probably play some form of mid-range or control deck. So there's not a lot of creatures in the build because we'll be exiling all creatures and planeswalkers with mana value three or less from the battlefield and from the graveyard, which is really cool. And then, you know, utilizing artifacts to cast the verdict via Galazeth, which is a four mana creature. It will not be affected by the verdict, which is great. Very cool. Three, four with flying when it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. And then artifacts you control have tapped to add one mana of any color spent on instant or sorcery spells. Neat. And then we have all of these new blood artifacts. Typically, we only had treasures, but now uh, the blood tokens. The Voldaren Epic here for one, a 1-1 one, one when it enters the battlefield. It deals one damage to each opponent, create a blood token. So this is amazing. You're dealing damage, you get a creature, and now you're getting a blood token that is far better than what the typical blood tokens are. Sack to discard and draw, because now we're just tapping it to add mana, ramping, 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 uh, because those artifacts aren't going to leave play as they're spent for mana. We have the Vampire's Kiss as well for two mana, sorcery speed. Target player loses two life, you gain two life, create two blood tokens. Uh, this basically casts for free. Of course, you will need to draw to replace it. However, gaining two life, dealing two damage, and then creating two blood tokens is absolutely amazing. Because again, those blood tokens or any artifact that we make in the match will be used as mana over and over again without being sacrificed. The Deadly Dispute, similar thing here, instant speed for two, as an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice an artifact or creature, draw two cards, and then create a treasure token. A, we can sacrifice the Voldaren Epicure, as it will be exiled via the Shadow's Verdict anyways. We may also tap the artifacts, and then sacrifice one of the tapped artifacts, if Galazeth is in play, to draw to create a artifact that we just tapped and sacrifice so it's uh really helping uh to mitigate its cost basically for one mana you're getting to uh draw two cards absolutely incredible we have the storm clin artist or killin artist for four as a two two plus one plus zero for each artifact that we control uh so this grows to be quite the fatty uh, it has Magecraft as well, and whenever we cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a treasure token. Uh, and this gets kind of goofy within the deck because we actually do have the ability to copy instances and sorceries through Galvanic Iteration. We can copy an instant or sorcery that generates an artifact, whether it be a blood token or a treasure. Now we're getting that base value times two because of the iteration, 
but then also triggering the magecraft of the artist, which is pretty goofy, and that will just allow us to keep going with the dragon. Of course, the Prismari command, two damage to any target, draw two cards, discard two cards, target player, create a treasure token or destroy target artifact. This is amazing, allowing us to create treasures, draw and discard, deal some damage as well. We have the unexpected windfall at instant speed for four as an additional cost, discard a card, draw two cards, create a treasure token. Uh, this is going to be very good, especially if we're copying it with Galazeth in play and an artist because, uh, you know, you're gaining mana because it's copied. You're drawing a bunch more cards that you can go ahead and play, uh, which is always nice. And then, you know, last but certainly not least, the Magma Opus for eight, four damage divided as you choose between any number of targets, tap two permanents, draw a draw two cards, sorry, and then create a four, four uh, blue and red elemental creature token which is great. Plus, we can pay to discard it uh, to our grave to create a treasure token early game, which is quite nice. Whew. We have Kazal's Fury, which can fling the artist for massive amounts of damage, or if they're, you know, trying to interact with our Galazeth, we'll just take some damage there. The Galvanic Iteration is so good in this deck because we have so much mana. The blood tokens, the treasures tapped through Galazeth. I know it's broken record here. Uh, really makes it easy to cast multiple copies of Galvanic and then, you know, play a Vampire's Kiss, play an Unexpected Windfall, and just run away with the match. You get so much value from that, which is really cool. We've got the Grixis lands here, you know, the ridges, the pathways, the coasts, the marshes, and a couple basics, and uh, the rare situation that some of our lands are destroyed or dealt with. That is the deck, and, uh, you know, I can't really... Um, say how much fun I'm having with this. Uh, we do have an alchemy version of well, uh, as well of this. If you guys are interested in that, watch the video until the end and we'll talk about it uh, in the outro portion. Uh, until then, you know, make sure to like the video, to show your support, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more great decks just like this and enjoy today's game. Going first, hand looks great. There's a turn one. Epicure, if our computer will go. And that one damage is quite nice. Next up would potentially be a deadly dispute, but I guess not. We don't get the land either. And we'll just activate that other source past turn. Keeping the blood token for Galazeth on four think. Unless we really want to ramp into it. But I'm not sure we need to. We're just kind of chilling. Let's pull counter magic. Obviously they have it. Oh wow. They just let us create those blood tokens. That's quite nice. Exiling the top three cards of our library, choosing one of them. <laughs> oh, they're all lands. That actually might be good for them, I don't know. And then they still have playability here. Hmm. Definitely playing into counter magic is less than ideal. This is an instant speed spell. They get two verdicts and an epicure. I assume they cast the epicure. Oh, I guess they got a vampire kiss as well. Looked like a shadow's verdict to me. They're tapped out. Galazeth in play. Now we have four available mana. For instances and sorceries. Straight chillin'. Iteration, a dispute, most likely. Dang it. Gets through. This will be nice. Uh, draw slash ramp for us. 
even if they counter the copy goes through, which is always good. And then it just replaces itself. All right. This is their turn as well. Good value for us. And we literally just do the same thing. That'll be seven treasures now. Eight available mana. So we will Opus on their upkeep. Gotcha. They could counter this. They don't. So that's pretty decent. It really takes their mana away from them for the turn. And we could do whatever we want. Iteration, 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 vampire kiss. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four. Eight damage, it's not the greatest. We could even Galvanic the Fury, potentially. Seems a little silly, but... Let's hit for three. I don't really need the blood tokens. Let's just go for it. But I guess I could have a counter spell. I'm going to play it safe. All right, just try to bait out a counter spell. Nope. Copy goes through, and we have enough mana to copy the Fury, so we're just chilling. Looking for them to tap, to interact with us. Okay, we take that. Another. We go Galvanic. One mana. I don't think that's a counter spell. Still hit them, and then we'll just Galvanic the Kiss. Oh! We actually can't. Because, uh... Unless we've not played a land. Which we have. So that was pretty good for them. Uh, it is our turn. Let me toss this land here. Since our dragon's gone, the blood tokens aren't as good. Iteration. Iteration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Iteration. <laughs> this card is super busted, man. Like, that's not okay. Not okay, man. We just hit him with the kiskies. Yikes. Look at all these blood tokens. There's so many blood tokens. Now we just need a dragon and we have a, a lot of mana.
opponent goes first. Uh, we've got turn two treasure, turn three treasure, and a field wipe. Is it a life gain deck? This will upset me. No turn one. Dual land out. This is our second black source. We need to play a red source for the opus. And then we can command. Maybe we even galvanic the command. Yeah, life gain for sure. This is actually what inspired this build. 100%. I was just like, I cannot stand this life gain deck. Shadow's Verdict, you're coming with me. Of course, the Inquisitor Captain's still ultra annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I accidentally passed turn instead of discarding the Opus. I, I As soon as I clicked it, I was like, no. <laughs> that is what it is. We'll be okay. Do they go straight for the captain? Voice of the Blessed. Which I will fry up immediately. They don't have protection. I just don't want to get hit before we even play Shadow's Verdict. I know, I know. He's such a scaredy cat. turn. I would love to discard the opus. We should have left that, to be honest. What would have it hit us for? Five? Six, seven. Actually, yeah, that is a lot of damage. Moon Dancer is fine. I think it's a good time to Shadow's Verdict. Right? Has to be. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely, brah. So much life gain. They keep the card on top. Hopefully it's not good. Take two damage. Down to 14. Galvanic. On the dispute, sack the treasure. Let's get some good draws going here. The treasure's always nice as well. Our turn. Land and play. Just clean up. Turn. Good game. <laughs> I have no mercy for the life gain decks right now. Get out of here, you guys. Going first. A really slow hand, but hey. It has the land. We just need that pesky dragon. I don't really want to cast Vampire's Kiss without copying it, unless we have the dragon, which we can't seem to find. I assume they make a treasure token with the block. End our turn. Let's try to ramp. Discarding the magma. Dragon off the top. 
Yeah, we did. Very nice. They probably just remove it. But I still want to do the do as best I can. Dracolich in play. Interesting. We can cast this now for free. And we're ramping a uh, long term. Okay, we kill the dragon. We have a ton of treasures. Uh, well, I should call them artifacts. Three, four, five, six, plus our four mana for ten, which means it's definitely magma time. If Galazeth survives, which is doubtful. Well, maybe not. Maybe we discard that with the blood token eventually. End our turn. Tap their lands. So not only are we ramping out ahead of them, but we're also kind of stifling their mana availability. And then I think we just uh, discard one of these lands here. Get rid of the pathway. Meat hook for one. Nice. Alright, this is all coming together. Cross the pathway. Oh, well that's not good. That is, though. Should we just keep drawing and discarding? For seven. Lost the verdict. We're so close. So, tap for mana. Whoops. Not sacrifice, tap. Like, that's not right. And then we will sack the tapped treasure that we used to cast it for dispute in the air. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're so close. I think we just do that same thing, don't we? Actually, that's putting us further behind. Galvanic's what we needed to get ahead. And, uh, yeah. I guess we could do this. And then we're still looking for lethal with a command. In turn. We sack the blood token um, in case they kill the dragon here. We didn't quite find the pieces in the order we needed. They bring back the dragon which comes in tapped. We gain some life here. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, which is indeed lethal. B E A beautiful. We get the job done. 
Just barely. So close. We're beating the meat hook as well. This is uh, shaping up to be a pretty nice standard deck. <clears throat> On the draw, pretty decent hand. I shouldn't complain. Turn one. Turn two ramp with the opus. They are playing a mono white life gain deck, I think. We just need to find and hurry on up to find the Shadows Verdict. So that already goes to three. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Which point do we block it? Because it's just going to grow each turn, but they could have removal at some point. I think we take it here for four. Actually, it would be five. We'll wait till it gets a little worse. Discard the Opus. helps us at all. <laughs> I mean, we should be copying this for four, shouldn't we? Next turn. And then we're doing four damage, gaining four life, creating four blood tokens. And then we have the artist, you know, one, two, three, seven tokens or artifacts. It'll be at nine. And then maybe we can fling it. Their life gain really makes it a lot harder to do business. Uh, they are maybe bricking though. Maybe that's the the ticket out of here. Should have blocked it last turn because now it is flying. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Oops. Looking for Shadow's Verdict. That's all I care about. Come on, Verdict. Yes! have to do it. I would love to play Galazeth first, but don't think it works. Like, who knows how much life they gain next turn. Shadow's Verdict against the Cleric's deck is good. They foretell... Galazeth in play. Make the treasure. Lunark's okay. I think I played against Star Fox 72 earlier, I want to say, also. Doesn't matter. We have six available mana. And uh, this is just going to be a nice Vampire's Kiss. Six damage. Six life gained. And just like so many treasures. We can swing in. And as long as Galazeth remains and we draw something to copy, we are set. The blood tokens could discard uh, until we find something good as well. The halo. Not my treasure. I 
It's such a good start, too. Shadow's Verdict is so good. These life gain decks are so annoying. Oh, my lord. Galvanic. And then we have eight. Oh, no. Double Galvanic. This is absolutely brutal. What? Red. Why would it be prohibiting me? Am I missing something? Oh, I don't have anything to discard. Yes, you are my friend. I got so excited. And we just wasted both Galvanics. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> it's a good thing we've got a good lead. Well, had a good lead. Whoops. So that's great. If they come back and beat us, I'm going to cry. Straight up streamer tears. Well, so much for those Galvanics. I would have loved to have tripled this. I'm going to pass turn. This is okay. Angels are great, though. Let's just keep making treasures. Right, because we spend two here. That's not the greatest. We can block the veteran. A rip. Let's see what we get. Toss the land. Take a swing. It's pretty good. Five, six, seven, eight. We need that and turn. How much life can they gain? We're almost ready for another Shadows Bird, okay? I think Maya's, uh... Oh, not set up with her camera today. She's yelling at me. She's like, why am I not being filmed? I'm on my wheel. Film me! A hole on the 4-4 four, four token. Decent. Okay, now things are getting spicy. Five, six, seven, eight. We just passed turn. And that was this way we can tap their mana. Or do we tap their creatures? think we do. Nice. They gain that life, which I don't like. We have so many blood tokens. We'll toss these lands, look for some damage. They need to play a creature. Oh my lord. Have mercy. Streamer tears are coming, you guys. I can feel it. It's such a good card. And they gain a bunch of life. And we're like on the ropes.
We can't block the flyers. Take the hit. I think we just hit them and they're going to hit us even harder. Pretty sure we just die. Dispute a blood token. That is a good draw. Is it enough? I almost don't think so. Land and play. We have three, four available mana only. That's not enough. We can Fury and Epicure. That's not enough. We kill the Righteous Valkyrie so they don't gain life. That's got to be the play line here, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's if they don't gain life. <laughs> this is I honestly don't know what to do here. Three mana. Do we just hold it up or do we swing with it now? I think we have to do it. Unpleasant. They do go up to 9 through the Phantom. And we're getting hit for 5 confirmed. Oh no, no, no. Another Starnheim unleashed? Come back of the Century, Star Fox. We are. Do we need five, six, seven? It's not enough, but it's like might allow us to survive. Two, four, and then six. We have 11 blood tokens. Surely we can draw and discard and find a damage spell. Getting hit for five. Confirmed. Potentially seven. I'll be down to two. Another Starnheim for all of their mana. to two. Big draw, big draw. Uh, we don't actually have eight mana. Shoot! That is a big draw, but we're one shy. It's okay, we get to draw few more times. Well, really only one more time here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Got him.
Wow, that was so close. That was a really good match of magic. Incredible. I thought they were coming back to get us there. Holy Toledo's. We held it down. Going first. Turn one is nice, and we have the dragon, so I think that's just going to be a good enough signal to keep the hand. We're slow on two, but it is what it is. If we get the land, we discard the opus. No. Hit for one. Land in play, pass turn. Festival Crasher. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, that gets plus two. Interesting. We don't see that often, do we? Pass turn. Discard the Opus. I am okay to block this, I think. Right, we don't mind. A mystic, interesting. So they're gonna cast some spells and deal a lot of damage with the attack. We can't clean up the field. I pray that Galazeth doesn't need to be flung. It is an option, but it's really just like Shadow's Verdict. The anger pushes it up. Yikes. This is kind of what I was talking about. This is going to be a bunch of damage. No blocks. We risk it. Hopefully there's no removal. If there is, we're being punished pretty badly here. Nice. 15 damage, you guys. <laughs> B-E-A, beautiful. My turn. Hopefully they don't have haste. Let's swing in for three. We have an additional three damage through the fury. Ooh, how that doesn't have haste. The artist is fairly good. We can chump block with the artist and then fling. turns it to a 4-4, four, four, then it becomes a 6-4 with flying. Which would classically kill us unless they have protection here. The artist does more damage than the dragon. But the dragon doesn't kill the artist. For the crasher. We should have made that decision while it was at three. My bad. Totes, my bad. They had the snakeskin anyways. Wow. And they're piling in more, you guys. That was very good. Uh, what an interesting deck. Let's check that out for a quick recap. They're using Ancestral Anger, the Serpentine Ambush. So making the base power and toughness through not only the Polymorph to 4-4, but the Ambush as a 5-5, both at instant speed on top of the Festival Crasher. Wow. Flying Hexproof, Double Strike, 11-5. <laughs> Whoa! Holy Toledo's.
This is a, a deck that we've not seen. I do believe that, you know, sure, Allrun's Epiphany could go in it. Uh, and But then we're just back to square one, right? Um, I'm pretty sure someone will do that. But, you know, this is my first standard deck that I've made in, what, two weeks, maybe even three weeks. I didn't want to just like, oh, here's Galvanic Iteration Allrun. Uh, I broke the deck even further for you guys. Enjoy! I'm out! <laughs> so, the Blood Tokens with Galazeth. Beautiful. You can take these core concepts of the deck and run in so many different directions with them. I feel like, you know, All Runs Epiphany, Magma Opus, Crackle with Fire, uh, any spell, instant or sorcery that uses a ton of mana typically is pretty good. And if you wanted to take it into alchemy, we have so many blood tokens. So many blood tokens. It's really easy. You just take the blood stroke. Actually, it's the brush stroke, isn't it? Um, you're, we had like, what, 10 blood tokens in play. The brush stroke would not only make another, which we use to ramp, but then late game, it's just like when we're sacrificing those blood tokens to draw the right spell, we're dealing damage. We're dealing damage. We're gaining life. And that's going to be absolutely fantastic. So it's an easy upgrade if you want to take it into alchemy with the brush stroke. The brush stroke is a very common card in the new alchemy decks because it's so strong. So it's safe to spend your wild cards on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Like the video on your way out to share your support. It really does help the channel and my bottom line. You can also subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more great content just like this. And then I won't have to bug you next time. Take care, have a magical day, and maybe enjoy another video.